The worst part about having a broken ankle at the moment is that all three of my cats want to go outside or come inside at completely different times. So <laughs> I'm constantly getting up to let them in or out. Yeah, I'm coming, buddy. Good morning YouTube and welcome to the first ever episode 9 of the Simon Bolter vlog. It's about a month since I've broken my ankle and quite a bit has happened. When I initially went into A&E after the break, um, they took an x-ray, confirmed that it was broken. It was a lateral malleus fracture. It's broken on the outside of my ankle and they gave me some painkillers, they put me in a cart and they sent me home with an appointment with the fracture clinic for a week later. But they they were pretty certain that it should probably heal on its own, no problems. At my first appointment with the fracture clinic, um, I went in, got my initial cast taken off, and that was a bit of a shock because I had a crazy rash all up my leg, and it was a um, some strange allergic reaction to the the stuff they put on the sock of the cast. I had some scabs on my shins from where my skateboard had bashed me in the shin a bunch of times. I've got some shinners. Um, and so when they took the cast off, I was, free, I was a bit freaked out. I was worried that um, my scab had got infected or something. I had this huge rash up my leg. But fortunately, that, that cleared up within a week with some antihistamines. But there's also some pretty bad swelling, um, some bad bruising, which is expected. But because of the scabs, from uh, the shinners, like the rash looked a lot worse than it was, so it kind of freaked me out at first. So they changed my cast, they sent me home with a much thinner, lighter cast, and I had that for a week. Um, they even give you a choice of colours, I chose black, but my <laughs> wife was begging me to get pink. They x-rayed my foot again, and I was getting what the doctor called displacement, which is where some of your bones move out of position. What's strange is, the bone that I broke on the outside of my ankle had not moved out of position. Um, it was the the bone on the inside of my leg that I was moving away from the from the foot bone. It was the medial malleus bone, which is the bottom of the tibula, that was drifting apart from the talus bone. And if I remember right, it was about two or three millimeters. Is, considered normal for the, the the gap in between them and mine had gone up to about three and a half closer to four which is too much so the doctor sent me home and said that when I come back next week if it drifts apart even more if it's displaced even more then I'm gonna have to get the surgery So I went home, I was very strict with the doctor's orders, I didn't put any weight on my ankle whatsoever, I kept it elevated the whole time and went back a week later, had another x-ray and unfortunately it had displaced even more. can't remember the exact number but um, it had gone worse. The really big problem with this is if it healed like that and healed wrong, uh, then the joint would become really unstable and there's a high risk of re-injury. Not only that, but there's a large, much larger risk of developing osteoarthritis down the line as well if it was just left to heal on its own. So I really didn't want to have to get surgery, but at the end of the day, it had to be done. So I went in for that appointment on the Tuesday, came back in on the Thursday and had the surgery done. I had um, ORIF surgery on the ankle where they put in a metal plate 
screw it in with about five or six screws at the side of the brake and and that plate should keep everything stable and in place and allow everything to heal properly yeah you out now <laughs> let's see your foot oh it's a bit close a bit more than before it's another one <laughs> Hello, Miss Lady. Hello. Go and tell us about it. Not right now, I'm very tired. <laughs> is, there, is the doctor meant to be coming down or not? You out of it? A little bit, a little bit. Oh, okay. Drunk on the pain Because the rest wait until the morning and that lady that did it the other day. Yeah, the morphine the, um, is nice. <laughs> but I'm not fond of, I'm not, not fond of these pigeons and... No. Rainbows and unicorns. Um, yeah, all this. Oh, that's from Debbie. Around. That's from Debbie. Yeah. Like the uh, and the uh, Tweety Pie. No, just pigeons. And... <laughs> okay, then. I stayed in hospital overnight after the surgery. The pain was worse than I expected. It was pretty bad for the first for the first week, especially the first 48 hours. I was on a lot of painkillers. Um, but morphine and codeine definitely helped. So I went home for the next week, rested, came back to the fracture clinic a week later, and they took off my cast, gave me the thinner, lighter one again, and my wife was waiting out in the waiting room while this was going on, and since it was her birthday, I surprised her and come out with a nice bright pink cast, which which is what I have now with my Marvel pajamas it's now two weeks since the surgery the pain is a lot better I'm not really getting any pain at all because it's immobilizing the calf and I can't really move it other than wiggling my toes about a bit um, that appointment was one week ago now um, I should be going back in three weeks time to get this cast removed and at that point the doctor said I should be allowed to walk and fully weight bear so fingers crossed I'm going to keep it elevated and keep my weight off of it until then in the meantime I'm just working on my next book and trying to make use of all the free time that I've got and and with any luck that will be published at some point in 2018 Miss Lady is at the door Oh, my God.